Hey guys, it's Andreas with Camp K9 Training and today I want to talk to you guys about consistency and building fundamentals. So, welcome to my little prop. Um, consistency is super important, but we can't be consistent unless we build solid fundamentals, right? And I mean solid. It's like the foundation of a house. There's no good of having a really, really nice roof if your foundation is shit. So um, it's super important to build those fundamentals, whether you have a eight week old puppy, whether you're fostering, whether you adopted, whether you went through my program and things fell back, right? It's super important to have that, th those fundamentals. So what are those? Well, start off with a crate, right? Making sure that your dog understands what a crate is, having them understand what a climb is, teaching all these things by utilizing food, luring, open lure, closed lures, all these things, right? So food is super, super important. Then overlay it with a leash, having them understand leash pressure and leash guidance, right? Ha combine that with a good solid placed collar. Then overlay all that information with an e-collar, right? And then once the dog understands all the fundamentals, then you could teach things. Then we can do tricks, we could do sits, we could do downs, we could do climbs, right? And then, once the dog understands all that, then we can have the freedom of taking our dog off leash and taking them to the beach, right? So, <laughs> it all starts from the fundamentals, right? Super important that the dog understands a crate, a food, leash, a climb, then e-collar, and then everything builds from there. You can't try to start teaching your dog e-collar and leash management if the dog doesn't understand the fundamentals on the bottom, right? But just like everything else in life, we have busy lifestyles. We have kids, significant others, we may get sick, we may get hurt, we might go on vacation, and then things start falling apart. So we might not do those two 20 minute walks that our trainers told us to do, right? We may not create as much because we don't think it's that important, right? We start giving a little bit of free rewards, right? We forget to charge our collars. We don't put the collars on right but then things start really falling apart and then you're like oh gotta get back on track so then we start charging our collars and we start putting the collar on for a day or two then our significant other doesn't follow through the family's not on the same page right we stop doing threshold manners because we don't think that's important we start giving again more freedom and more rewards and the next thing you know everything falls apart so it's important to always have those fundamentals because there's gonna be good days and there's gonna be bad days, right? During those bad days, go back to the basics, go back to crate training, go back to leash management, go back to a climb, right? Go back to food protocols, like all these fundamentals. But if you have a solid foundation, you can build from there. If you don't have a solid way to communicate with your, uh, with your dog, then it's all worthless, right? But you can build on top of it. We messed up, right? get everybody on the same page. So now the family, the entire family, is on the same page. Everybody understands that we need to do two 15, two 20 minute walks per day. Everybody understands that we need to do threshold manners, loading control, right? Everybody understands that on the walk, there's no smelling, pulling, lunging, or barking. Everybody understands that there is no free rewards. Every reward, is earned, right? And then you get back to a place where you can allow that freedom again, right? But it's super important to be able to stay consistent. Now, <laughs> there's a difference in the expectations that everybody's gonna have. My expectations for my dogs are way different. So as long as you're staying consistent and you're building on the fundamentals, sky's the limit. So if you want your dog to compete, Great, you know, IPO, Schutzen level, agility, right? Any of these things, great, awesome. Set the expectation, work towards it, right? You can't expect to have this level amount of training and have your dog compete at a, at a IPO Schutzen level. It's not gonna happen, right? If you just want a dog that's well behaved, that listens on a leash, that isn't pulling, then work on the fundamentals, right? Set the expectation and have accountability and stay consistent. And when things start falling apart, go back to the basics and build on that. But make sure everybody's on the same page, right? 
Um, so hope my little analogy worked for you guys. Uh, remember to always go back to fundamentals, your food, your leash, your collars, your crates, your climbs don't fall apart. I have way too many clients to get super excited and, and, and at the end of the program, I always hear it. I wish I would have done this sooner. And two months later, I'm getting calls again. So stay on top of it, right? Build it into the daily routine. Hope this information helped, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much.